Okay. So hi, Lara. Thanks for joining Bea and I and taking part in our 30 questions we ask thriving people. And clearly, you are thriving. Thanks, guys. Thanks for thinking that I am. Um, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, so let's jump right in the 30 yeah. questions. So first question, Lara, what inspired you to join beauty pageants? Um, well, I, well, this is kind of a funny story because um, to be honest, I, I didn't even know really what Binibining Pilipinas was or Miss World was when I first joined. Um, as you know, Shari, um, from Kaila, I was an athlete, so super healing because of sports, you know, I was just really a regular kid studying, um, playing softball. And um, at the time, before I joined Bini Beaning, I was actually in the States studying to become a doctor. So yun talaga yung mundo ko. I knew nothing else, you know, just sports and like being a doctor. And then one day when I came home for Christmas vacation back to the Philippines, basically somebody approached me and asked me if I wanted to join. And at first I was kind of like, oh, what? like I really didn't know. I, I didn't know what Binibining Pilipinas was because first of all, I went to an international school. So yung mga tao dun, syempre, hindi sila masyadong involved sa Philippine media. So I, I didn't know who all these people were. So um, I, I I more saw it as an opportunity to come back to the Philippines. I was like, okay, I'll take a six month leave and I'll come back and I'll join and you know I can see my family, see my friends again. And then when it's over, I'll I'll go back to the states. So you were crowned Miss World Philippines 2017. What was the best lesson you gained from this role? Best lesson? Oh my gosh. Parang pageant talaga ito, no? Oh, okay. Oh, Tell me. 30 questions to na ganito. Sinun-sinun. Uh -oh. um, hmm, best lesson. Um, I guess the best lesson I learned was really just um, the value of, of as cheesy as it sounds, of just being yourself and making sure you don't compromise your morals. Um, because at the end of everything, you know, um, after I joined the pageant, even though I wasn't able to win in the international competition, I really had no regrets because I had fun. I met all these girls from all over the world. And I always say, you know, like, if I go to Montenegro, I'll know somebody and I'll have a place to stay. Um, so I just went into it, like, very happy. And and I, I didn't compromise who I was. I kind of wore what I wanted. I, I was who I wanted. So... Um, I left feeling I left feeling contented, and I think that was the, the biggest lesson I took out of it was was never to to compromise that because I, I knew I knew so many girls who regretted so many things. Um. So also, you mentioned a while ago you were an athlete. So you were a softball player. What part of being an athlete benefited you most in your life? Oh, very pageant <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What I what I really love about sports in general, or about being an athlete is that it's such a great like equalizer because it doesn't matter like what you look like or where you're from or who your parents are you know what matters is how hard you work in this in the sport like that's what's going to make you great nobody is going to magically give you the strength to throw the ball or, or the swing the bat you have to do that on your own so i think it taught me discipline in that sense i knew that i had to work hard if i wanted something and it just exposed me to more people um, I met so many people outside of my comfort zone. I met Kai, Shari's friend. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Most of my friends came from that world. <laughs> so how do you stay motivated? Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, I stay motivated because I'm doing what I love. And I think that's really the secret. Because um, if I wasn't doing something that I really love to wake up to every day, I think it would be, it would be hard um, to push myself. But because I really love what I do what I'm doing I really enjoy it I enjoy the people that I'm working with I end up feeling like so grateful that I'm here that I don't want to lose this position and and that's what motivates me yeah I think it was Jerry Seinfeld who said that he felt like he never worked a day in his life because he enjoys what yeah. he does so much right? yeah. that's the goal. Yeah, I'm so lucky so that pushes you because parang you don't want to let go of it one of the questions I have is what do you think of the statement nice girls finish last Oh gosh. <laughs> um, well, you know, I think this is also something that I struggled with, especially in pageants, because it, it gets spicy, you know, as much mm. as it is like a sisterhood, competition parinsha, and and you really have to make an effort to to stand out and like show yourself and have that willpower. But 
um i i understand why i understand that some moments why people may think that but at the same time i think it's so important to find balance um because you can be nice but you also have to make sure that you're not a pushover mm. the battle it's i was listening to like the new taylor swift song the other day i think it was called marjorie or something i don't know if you guys like taylor swift <laughs> <laughs> but um, I do like Taylor Swift. Anyway, she has a song. It's called Marjorie, I think, where she describes or allegedly describes her grandmother. And she has a line there um, where she says, um, um, never be too never be too polite um that you forget your power and never wield such power that you forget to be polite. Mm. So, I think Taylor Swift. She was yeah. <laughs> know, Marcelino's a girl. She knows that. Like, there you know, just so our viewers know how nice Laura was. I worked with her um once in for a travel show and like sobrang init. I remember we were like in Binondo, I think, and then sobrang init. So I had like some mm-hmm. inside my head. Parang, oh my god, init. Where's si Laura? Talaga, like smile, still so pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> so you also do uh, a lot of hosting jobs. Um, do you have any advice for women or even men or anyone who's trying to improve their work ethic? Hmm. Well, I think it's hard to have a work, work ethic if you don't love what you're doing. So it, it yeah. goes back to the whole being motivated thing. Um, I think if you want something enough, um if you really want something if you have that goal if you have that career then you're going to do whatever whatever you can to get to it and so you recently got engaged um to Vaughn. how did you know he was the one? Oh my gosh this is our favorite topic in our show like oh, yeah like, I mean, ano love man? especially if <laughs> covid times to engage i love it yeah i'm done with it i guess everyone was like bored at home and needed companions yeah. Yeah. Right, I feel like only three things happen. You got engaged, you got pregnant, or you got separated. But right, those are the, <laughs> the intense things that happen. I'm to scared. People. Yeah, I haven't gotten pregnant. I haven't got engaged. So I don't know. I mean, when I'm not my wife, so. <laughs> uh, when I when I when I met Vaughn, because or when I re- when our relationship um grew, it was at the time when I was least expecting it because I was focusing on myself. So I think yan yung key dun eh. I think a lot of a lot of people tend to look for it so um, so specifically and and with such purpose like hinahanap talaga nila ng what's right for them or they're looking for Mr. Right or they're looking for the one but I think when you when you invest in yourself um, when you just focus on yourself then Mr. Right will come to you because you have the en- you have the good energy that attracts them diba right? so i guess i knew he was yeah, the one but wala na sungit shari we both get our so our sungit moment we're like uh oh. we girls we have our mood swings i mean you know pms real. Yeah. yeah 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 i mean you, know, you can have your mood swings you can have bad days but the general mm-hmm. picture of it is that you're focusing on yourself yeah right? When you when you when you're focusing on yourself, good things will come when you least expect it. I was focusing on myself, and then he came, um, and I think I knew he was the one when he never made me choose between my career and and between him. He never made made me choose because um, he understood that you know this is what I love. He knew that I didn't I I didn't rely on him. I wanted to make it on my own. I wanted to make my own money. And he never made me feel like, like um, there was an imba- an imbalance. Like he never makes me feel bad if I'm going to work or anything like that. So he respects it. Um, and at the same time, I also knew he was the one because he gave me stability or he kept me grounded in a world that that was that is so, I guess in in an, in essence superficial. Because a lot of times, you know, we're in front of the camera and, you know, we're on stage or we're acting and things can get crazy. But he was always there to calm me down when when I got home and he reminded me, you know, and I, uh, okay, I have to play with my dogs, give time to my dogs, give time to myself. So just the simple things. Um, what do you think of t- turning 30? Well, I actually still have a, a while to go. I'm, I'm 27. 
I, I, was was years of you. I remember when I was when I was 27. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I was dreading it a little bit. Like 27, yeah. I was like, oh no, 30 is coming. Yeah. I, me and my friends joke because when you're past 25, you're closer to 30 than you were to 20. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Especially in the Philippines, there's so much pressure with everything because I guess people are more conservative here. You know what I mean? But yeah, in the Philippines, it's hard because um, people can get traditional and, and conservative and set a timeline for you on when to achieve this or when to get married and everything like that. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I always think, what if we were like in a in another country, would age even be a, be a factor? I think everybody has their own timing. And when you accept accept that, when you focus on yourself and not get too pressured about what other people say, that's when you find your happiness. Yeah. What is the best advice that you've received? Hmm, best advice? Um, hmm. Well, I have a, like, I have a wallpaper on my phone um i don't know if it's advice but it's like a, it's a quote that i have just to remind me and it says the biggest thing holding people back is the limiting beliefs and stories that they tell themselves about their circumstances abilities and the world around them so i i i, lo I loved it because um i think sometimes we think we can't do something because of who we are so for example i never even dreamt about being a beauty queen, but it wasn't because I didn't want to, it was because I never knew that I could. Like nobody ever told me that I could do this because I guess they thought that it wasn't in my path. I was gonna become a doctor, you know? So I, I, I was kind of boxed into that, into that life, into that scenario. And um, the best advice I guess I got was that if I, if I go out, of that box if i go out of the limitations then i can be anything i want to be like when i have a daughter or a son one day i'd also want to instill that into them because i don't want to make them feel that they're limited because of 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 what they're doing or what they're interested in or where they're from or just the fact that we're in the philippines like i want to i want to raise them with an open mind and let them know they can they can be whatever they want so um, do yeah. you believe in luck in luck uh, well, I guess it ties into what we said earlier, you know, that luck comes when preparedness meets opportunity. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I do believe in luck. I think that um, what what made me believe in luck or maybe fate is when I was approached by somebody to join Bini Bini Filipinas in the first place because mm -hmm. um, it happened at a, at a dinner that I wasn't supposed to go to um, that maybe we, we wouldn't even have met each other each other there you know so we were both at the right place at the right time he was there to tell me to join and i was there to kind of accept this offer so um i think i was lucky in that sense because it changed the whole trajectory of my life but at the same time if i didn't um prepare for what would follow then that luck wouldn't have been ma manifested i love it laura do you believe in like the law of attraction i feel like i get that <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Um, is it well? Shai is a believer, I, I, absolutely I, believer. <laughs> not, not really. Actually, I wouldn't. Say, I believe in prayer. I believe yeah. in being positive and good things happen to you. But then the well, you know, I became. I I kind of became more of a believer when I don't know if you remember when Pia words back like tweeted. Um, do you know the story? No. Like, no. I think I saw something, or Kelsey Merritt also said that yeah. I'm going to be... Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So they, they tweeted something like, um, it was like, balang araw, mag-VS din ako, or mag -Miss, Miss Universe din ako. So, and then it eventually came true, right? So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, if I tweet something. <laughs> okay, we need yeah. to talk no, I believe I believe in it talaga. It's just not the exaggerated fantastical things. But then again, that could be a limiting belief, like what we talked about a while ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I definitely I believe in the law of attraction, but I also believe in the law of I don't know, I'm gonna make my own right now, but the law of being grateful. Because mm. when you're grateful, when you're grateful for something, then then you feel so lucky about what you have 
that you exude a positive energy because you're just so grateful for everything. And when you're positive, um, a lot of positivity then attracts to you, you know, because mm -hmm. dark holes. Like, are there specific things you do that are actions, for example, kickboxing or, you know, hitting a ball with a bat um, that allows you to overcome roadblocks? Um, like a bad day. A bad day. Well, I think I'm lucky because I have Vaughn. Like I have my, my partner who I ran to all the time. Mm. A lot of things like that. So I, I think friendship, maybe not just relationship, friendship in general is so important. Having other people there so you can release all the all the bad vibes and vent out mm. to someone is important. Um, but I think also exercise in general is also important. And I didn't, I didn't, um, realized this um, early on, but um, midway through the quarantine, Vaughn and I started doing yoga, and okay. yeah, I think that that helped a lot because we were able to to kind of you know just zen out. Sarah, what is love? Tell us your secret. <laughs> what is love? Oh my gosh. Um. Well, you know, it's one of those things that you can't describe. No, it's like the hardest mm. thing to describe in the world. I think. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I think love is just, um, for me, it's, it makes you want to wake up in the morning. You oh, know, it, it, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> we so, get the best answers in these interviews, by the yeah. way. Not <laughs> okay. why <more> answers. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think love is something, it's that feeling that really makes you want to get out of bed. So whether it's love for your career, you want to get out of bed because you want to host that show or Shari, you want to do that makeup for that person or, you know, mm. something like that. Um, I think it's it's the person that you're excited to get out of bed for. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to go on this trip to Barakai with Juan today or, or something like that. It's, it's that feeling that makes you excited to get out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> so if you can have lunch with one person dead or alive, who would it be? Hmm. Well, this is gonna sound so just Mosa. But I I I I watched the crown. You guys watch the crown. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. I'm not so a big <laughs> yeah, so addicting. So I wouldn't want to talk to Princess Diana. Oh. <laughs> just that. Okay, so we talked about gratitude a lot. So for what in your life are you most grateful? Um, I'm just grateful because I'm aware that you know, life is like a lottery. You know, you're, you're, mm. you can be born into things and you can be born not into things. So I guess I feel lucky that I was born into a life that allowed me to have opportunities. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. So what is the single best realization that you've ever had? All aside, it was when I joined Beanie Beanie because it kind of turned my world upside down. I was introduced to all these new people, to this new lifestyle. And I think because of that, I realized that it's it's so important to broaden your world, not live in a box. Because my mm -hmm. life ended up so much, so much happier and so much better when I I um stepped out of my comfort zone. So I, really I guess we're coming clo um to a close of the last few questions. Um, what smell makes you happy? This is a random one, but we're always curious. <laughs> what mm -hmm. smell? Um, well, you know, I think it's it's. It's maybe it's changed over the years, but especially yeah. now because of quarantine and we're inside all the time, you yeah. know, and we don't do that out there time. I think just the smell of like trees or <laughs> yeah. flowers or being outside makes me so happy mm -hmm. already because I don't I don't get any of it. Um, um, <laughs> what is something beautiful you see every day? Well, I want to see my dogs because I'm such a like an animal person. Yeah. Um, and I love my dogs. I was thinking of becoming a vet when I was in pre med, actually. I love um, that. I think something beautiful I see every day is my dogs because I realize that no matter how how much of a bad mood I'm in, or um, no matter what I do to them, if I don't take them out as much today because I'm busy, if I can't play with them as much today, or mm. um, they love me no matter what, and they're happy no matter what. So I think that that's beautiful because for me, yeah. like, I don't know if it's like a bio biological thing, but dogs have so much self-control in that sense yeah. because they hold grudges, right? Okay. Um, finish the statement. I will be content when. Hmm. 
Well, I think I am content. I think I am. Love it. Yeah, I think I think I am content, and it, it's not to say that you know I have all the jobs that that I want to have, mm. or everything everything that I want to in my career, or I have all the money that I have, because that's definitely that's definitely not not the case. You know, there there's still so much I want to do. There's so much more places I want to see. There's there's like financial goals that I want to earn, but I am content because I feel grateful. I, I, I really yeah. feel grateful for, for what I have. And um, I, I feel every day I, I feel lucky that I get to do what I love, that I have people that I love beside me. And, and that's what, that's what makes me content. That's what makes me content. Um, last one is use three words to best describe your life. One word for the past, one word for the present and one word for the future. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, you guys, you, I think you guys should formulate the Q&As for the mini- <laughs> oh, <laughs> Q&A type. <laughs> I guess a lot of that would be, I guess I pass would be innocence. Just having that carefree innocence um, that you tend to lose when you get older because the reality start to hit you. The shame starts to hit you. Yeah. Um, present, I think, uh, would be the grind um or grinding in general because um maybe you're 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 tw- throughout your 20s the i read somewhere where that's the point where you're really supposed to work you're supposed mm-hmm. to work a lot and and find what you love to do focus on yourself and and i, I and i and i hope that's what i've been doing because i've been i've been working hard and um i've, I've been busy i've been grinding to set myself up for the future yeah. So for the future, I'd like to think that um, I would find more relaxation, <laughs> relaxation and calm, less anxiety. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Thank you so much, Laura. I think this yeah. conversation clearly is like it's a le- it's the perfect example of you don't need to talk to somebody older than you to gain inspiration yeah. and to learn new things. Um, <laughs> Also, I am very grateful for our convo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you yeah. for having me. I hope it was okay what I what I said. I don't know if I'm the best. No, it was perfect. Yeah.